Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I will be talking about how you can root your Fire TV and showing you what it looks like afterwards. This will not be a tutorial due to the fact that it took me more than an hour to get everything working. Remember, I am not an expert in this matter, so I made sure I was following the guide precisely. Anyways, let's jump in. The guy that I followed and highly recommend is from AFTVNews.com. This guy really knows what he's doing when it comes to the Fire TV. I have followed a few of his guys in the past and they were all pretty easy to do. If you want, you can click on the link in the description and it will take you straight there. First and foremost, you need two important things, a Windows PC. And if you're on Mac, I have confirmed this to work on Bootcamp. Then obviously you need a Fire TV 2 or in other words, a 4K Fire TV with software version 5.0.5 .5 or older. That's mainly why I pushed this video out quickly in case a new update came out and then everyone would just be stuck without root. Anyways, just read the guide entirely before you get started. It will give you an idea of what you will be doing. Always make sure to download the latest version of each file by looking at the date it was published. It's best to have a USB hub to make things easier. However, if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see what you can do if you do not have a USB hub. If this guide helped you in any way, you can donate to these three people and it tells you here what each of them did and whatnot. This last one is the one who created the this guide that you will be following. After completing this guide, you will be on a pre-rooted ROM. To get newer updates, you should wait until a pre-rooted ROM is made available and then you can install it by going into your recovery menu. I will have videos on that when they come out, but as long as you follow this guide, you should be on the latest one at this point, so you should be good to go. Now let's move on to what the rooted Fire TV looks like and why you may want to do this. When you first power it on, you will see a bootloader in which you can select to boot into recovery by connecting a keyboard. In recovery, here are some of the things you will be able to do. To get out of recovery, just select reboot. The recovery menu is helpful in case something prevents your Fire TV from booting up. You can go in it and potentially fix it if you know how to do so. Aside from the bootloader, everything else looks normal. In your apps, you will find super user, which is essential to the whole rooting your device thing. Some things you will be able to do are block updates. As you can see here, every time I check for update, it says system update error. I highly recommend doing so, and you will see how to do it in the guide. Basically, an update to a rooted Fire TV can cause you to lose root. Remember, you should only update when a pre-rooted ROM is available. Now, to answer your question, why should you root? Blocking updates is a really good reason. Basically, let's say you have an app that you use every day. Suddenly, your Fire TV has updated and that app no longer works. With a rooted Fire TV, you have control of updates and you can always downgrade to an older version by using a rooted ROM. Another reason is being able to run apps that require root. An app that I remember on the first generation Fire TV was Stick Mount, which allowed me to mount and unmount USB devices. Later on, Amazon updated the software which made that app pointless, but that's just one example. There are many other out there, and if I find something, I will be making a video about it. That's really all I have for you. I hope that you guys are able to root your Fire TV while you can. Remember, if an update comes out, you will not be able to do this, so I would recommend you do it as soon as possible. And if you cannot, I would recommend just turning off your Fire TV until you can do so. With that out of the way, make sure to subscribe so you can follow along on this topic if you want. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.